Uh, hi everyone, it's uh, Global Week and uh, here we are recording our spotlight videos. Global Week is all about celebrating different cultures, different countries and AU London is proud to have students almost from all over the world. And today uh, we uh, have Denise who will introduce her home country. Hi, Denise. Hi, Ksenia. <laughs> uh, could you please introduce yourself and tell a bit about yourself? So, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Denise, as you can actually probably read my name. So, uh, I am originally from Romania, more specifically from west part of Romania, city of Arad. Yeah, I'm student, a proud student at ARU London uh, at Human Resource Management. Uh, almost now going very close to um, my last year, um, in May starting my last year. It's great. Uh, thank you very much, Denise. Um, I'm really excited to hear more about Romania because honestly, I have no too many, I don't know too many facts or something specific um, knowledge about the country. So for me, it's like I am pretty new to everything and I'm super excited. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, could you please describe your country in three words? <laughs> so um, that's a very a uh, nice question, to be honest. I know my fellow Romanian friends will laugh at what I will be saying, but I would say, um, let's say beautiful, um, fun, <laughs> and welcoming. I mean, nice words, right? So <laughs> I would say, yeah, three words, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I can feel it from your vibes, how welcoming you are. And I definitely believe all you said. And I can't see any reasons to laugh at all those three words. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, you know, um, every forest has its, um, you know, um, broken branches or its dry branches. But yeah, I mean, Mo mostly, if we look at the good part of Romania, it's actually welcoming, um, fun and really beautiful. I mean, a beautiful in scenery and so on. So, yeah, there are true words, like when I say three words. <laughs> yeah, and I reckon that uh, mostly citizens uh, make um, countries so beautiful. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I wouldn't, I, I don't disagree with you. <laughs> there are a lot of beautiful people as well. Yeah. Especially, um, yeah, you know what they say, women from Romania, uh, from uh, Romania are beautiful. Some of them say that. Yeah, I heard that a lot, quite a lot. But I actually think we're all women are beautiful. Why they say only Romanian ones are. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's uh, such a nice description. And uh, you already mentioned that uh, there are so many beautiful places. What is your favorite place in Romania? Uh, this is more like personal, I will say. So uh, my favorite place is actually where my grandparents used to live. So it's at the countryside. Um, uh, it's somewhere next to, um, it's a city called Oradia, but it's like in a, yeah, it's a countryside uh, at my grandparents' uh, house. They unfortunately passed away, but I still go with my parents every now and then <laughs> there. So yeah, it's one of my favorite places to go. Um, but as a touristic point, if, you, if we are speaking about touristic point, I will say, well, um, I like seaside, <laughs> so I would say Constanza. I mean, everyone probably uh, should visit at least if they go to Romania and they like, uh, you know, beach and sea and water and sun. I will definitely uh, 
recommend them Constanza <laughs> to visit? Uh, so it's probably summer is the best season to visit your country. Not really. Uh, winter can do as well because we do have, you know, we are a country that has a lot of mountains. So um, the whole Carpatic chain is actually going through the country. So we do have a lot of mountains uh, and we do have beautiful sceneries there. Uh, probably uh, some of uh, our viewers might know Transfigurashan, which is um, a road that goes through the mountains. Um, it's really nice. It's something that it has to be visited, but I think it's closed during winter. However, there are, you know, there are a lot of uh, um, uh, ski uh, things, you know, where you can go skiing. So it's Brasov. Um, yeah, Brasov is very popular. Um, I, I don't know, like I'm not a I'm not a person who goes skiing and stuff. I don't like winter. <laughs> I'm a summer girl. I love sun. So <laughs> um, I would say, yeah, uh, mountains, it will be Brasov. Um, there is also, um, mm, can't tell now any other ones, but this one is very popular and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Um, I uh, definitely will make some notes because your recommendations are so specific. So we basically can already book our tickets now. Uh, yes, yeah, why not? Depends on your preferences at the end of the day, isn't it? Like, oh, actually, you know, uh, the mountain areas are not necessarily beautiful only in winter, but also summer. And actually, they get quite uh, busy and crowded in the summer. Um, uh, apart from that, during winter, yeah, it's hard because we have those really heavy, <laughs> nice, not so nice in my opinion, but there are heavy uh, winter days with snow and stuff. Like if it's proper winter, we'll go like minus 14 degrees at least. <laughs> so yeah. It's, it's nice. For people who enjoy uh, snow, yeah, you can go to Romania. <laughs> <laughs> Book your ticket uh, probably after Christmas. That's good. <laughs> I'll say after Christmas. They, they are cheap and nice. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I will bear it in mind <laughs> when I will plan my uh, next holiday. And um, yeah. Quite interesting question. Now I'm going to ask, mm -hmm. what is the most popular stereotype about Romania? Uh, <laughs> I would say, oh gosh, I would say that we speak Russian because uh, as you know, <clears throat> we are, so it's Romanian, then we have our neighbors, Moldova, which also speak Romanian, but they are next to Russia. So they are quite very knowledgeable in Russian. Uh, however, we Romanians don't really learn Russian. They used to do this back in the communism time, but now Romania doesn't really <laughs> learn Russian. Um, However, Moldova does um, because, yeah, they are close to them and yeah. Uh, but this is one stereotype that we know Russian. Uh, you have no idea. I mean, it's quite, I'm surprised a bit, but like I've been having this question, like, do you know Russian? I'm like, I wished, but it's quite, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, it's quite a stereotype that we know Russian. One of them. One of them. Mm, it's maybe, muscle pop. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's because um, names of countries a bit similar, like Russia, Romania. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it sounds similar. Uh, you will be very surprised because our language, for it. I mean it. Uh, we, 75% uh, of our language, our native language is actually Latin. 
So um, we don't really, <laughs> we don't really speak. Uh, I mean, we do have a few words that are very similar to Russian, are very quite very similar. Uh, however, yeah, <laughs> not really. But mm, it's just because, yeah, I, as I said, it's because our fellow neighbors, Moldova, they do speak Russian. They really know. I mean, I really admire them. They can do both because Russian is like a different kind of language. Romanian is a different kind of language. They have different grammar. And it's like, wow, for me, I'm like, OK, that's good. <laughs> Very nice of you. Well done. Well done. Ah, you can try uh, to tell a few similar words because I'm from Russia and <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh, you are. That's so amazing. Oh, well, you do have machina, machina. Yeah. You do have shapka. Yeah, absolutely. You do see. Um, well, I can't think of them. I mean, these are very um. This two, I don't know the other ones. Like I can't think of other ones right now, but this ones are the ones that have been remaining in my mind. So <laughs> I just like, yeah, you do have some languages. Uh, I mean, some words that are quite similar to Romanian. It's like, yeah, but um, I mean, on the other side, we 75% have Latin words. That's why we quite understand Italians. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> if we actually try it a little bit and also them, yeah. Yeah, that's really good to know. And <laughs> it's really interesting fact, stereotype, stereotype to be <laughs> more precise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, uh, let's move to the next question. And now I want to ask what does surprise you? about your culture or maybe traditions, country, the most? Oh, this is something that I've been enjoying. Oh, so I'm quite surprised, to be honest. Overall, I'm quite surprised that the younger generation, like the millennials, I guess, or the Generation Z, still get attracted to all these traditions and culture that we have like jinxing or throwing rice at uh, the bride and groom for their prosperity and so on so it's quite funny you know that this is something that surprised me that you know the younger generation still gives interest even though um I mean, I'm young as well. Maybe I'm speaking like an old lady now, but it's not. It's just, yeah, I mean, younger generation, I'm thinking about like, you know, 10, 13, 14, you know, the teens one maybe um, are giving interest, still giving interest in this type of traditions. They are not, you know, fading away. They quite stay uh, among some uh families and you know they are passed to the young ones so the young ones give interest you're expecting them to stay all the time on the computer and stuff but not really they give interest and that surprises me i have my younger brother who is 14 and he's interested in the i mean he is still like into this type of traditions and culture that romania has i'm like not so I, I'm not that with the, all the traditions and stuff. I do enjoy some, but um, yeah, not all of them. I don't believe in all this, you know, yeah, <laughs> jinxing and stuff and throwing rice at people for prosperity. <laughs> uh, do children learn uh, about those traditions at school or how do they know about them? So it's... um. They don't learn it at school. It's, as I said, I did mention that family. Some families do this apart. You know, there are some families that um, from, especially from the countryside, they do this, like they, they keep these things. Um, I'll give you like a more uh, specific one. For instance, when someone, someone passes away, they have to cover the mirrors so that the, the spirit doesn't see uh, itself in the mirror. And I've seen people like young ones who say to me like, oh, we have to cover it because sometimes, you know, we go to these funerals and stuff. And, you know, traditionally they keep the person in the house and yeah, 
they do it as uh, this is one thing in my part it depends on the region though so it passes they see it in the family and they just like somehow believe it i guess it's not, not in schools no we live in, at least we live in the modern days in the schools <laughs> But yeah, it's more specific. Uh, I think I would say it's more specific. Uh, tradition and culture preserves more in the rural, rural part, uh, so countryside. Um, not so much in the urban areas. So yeah, yeah, something like that. Hmm. Uh, do you have uh, any? Uh, maybe favorite uh, traditions or something that you personally believe? <laughs> I do not believe, but I do enjoy a tradition, going to weddings and stealing the bride. I think all of us like that. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, I don't know if you have maybe know some Romanians who have mentioned this, but this is like really nice when sound like, at the middle of the night, they just decide, or oh, it doesn't matter actually the hour, they can steal any time, but they steal the bride and then, you know, their god, the godfather has to pay for her and the groom has to do whatsoever, pay or dance or sing uh, just for the people to give her back, which is very hilarious. It's my favorite part. And you know what? <laughs> the bride is taken in some club to drink and stuff and dance. And it's, you know, I've been working um, a part of my, let's say, high school during summers. I've been working in pubs for and you just randomly some bride comes in your pub and just like can i have like 16 shots of something you know it's like okay <laughs> bear with me it's just like and then you you just notice like there especially summer which is like wedding season and stuff uh, you will see like at least three brides in a pub in a night so <laughs> during the weekends it's like this <laughs> summer weekends i would say <laughs> Oh, wow, it's so much fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> it is hilarious. Yeah, I'd love to visit uh, a wedding in Romania now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, um, I would like to ask um, my next question. Uh, are you a part of any communities for Romanian citizens uh, in London? Uh, well, I'm, I would love to, but unfortunately, I don't live in London area. I do live in Chelmsford. No. Uh, do you know about maybe any communities in Chelmsford? I'm not really aware of. Um, I've been living here only for almost three years um which two of them are have been in lockdown so i haven't been a i do i am part of um a group on facebook that is with romanians and so on you know it's a really nice group um really helpful uh but haven't met someone personally uh, apart from the Romanian owner from the Romanian shop. <laughs> but I mean, um, yeah, I, I guess I can count the Facebook group. It's not a com I, I mean, it's a community. Not all, not all of us know each other like face to face. But it's, it's yeah, I'll call this, <laughs> you know, Romanians in Chelmsford <laughs> community Facebook page. Yeah, we definitely can count it. Uh, do you have any place uh, in the UK what uh, reminds you about your home country? Oh, yes. I mean, <clears throat> uh, there's a place. It's the Lake District, if you know about Lake District. Yeah. It is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I think it's really similar to what I mean about Romania being beautiful in the mountain area. It's amazing. Like, there, are, I think words are pointless to describe both places. 
So I guess, yeah, Lake District reminds me a lot about the mountain areas of Romania, like when visiting, it's like, uh, let's say Transfiguration uh, area with Le Lake District. It's, yeah, pretty much similar. It's really nice. I mean, yeah, no words. <laughs> I'll just say like, very nice, very beautiful, amazing. <laughs> Uh, I um, I haven't been there. It's still on my bucket list. And one day I really want to go there because everyone describes it exactly like amazing, wonderful, no words. <laughs> it's not that far from London, though. It's quite close. It's good. <laughs> but you need to like, if you want to visit Lake District, uh you really need uh i haven't been there by myself it's also on my bucket list because lockdown and stuff i wanted to but yeah unfortunately but i have friends who have been there and they said that if if i want to visit i should definitely like try the camping uh not necessarily like uh staying at a hotel and so on it's really nice but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because I have a baby. So <laughs> I don't know if children will like to stay in a tent. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit later when children will be ready for it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I will do. Yeah. But I think I'm not going to let that much time pass until I visit that place. Because honestly, it's just like a dream. I've been seeing like all type of videos and everyone, yeah, as you said, is describing it very nice, very beautiful. You have to go. It's just like very close. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and um, if uh, we are moving closer to the end of our interview, I would like to ask what is the one, uh, one fact which everyone definitely should know about Romania. Oh yeah, I did say this. Uh, you know that uh, language uh, is what defines uh, the, uh, basically the culture of a country. So I would say we are the only Latin country uh, in Eastern Europe because other, other, the, our neighbors are more, most of them. I know Hungary is not, uh, is not Slavic. So we are basically Latin surrounded by Slavic countries. Not all of them, I'm just saying. Most of the ones we are surrounded are Slavic countries. So this is one fact. I didn't know, but my husband told me, um, a few months ago about this and I was like wow I haven't noticed this so yeah that's one fact and now um everyone will know it because we will uh share this video and we will spread this knowledge about Romania yeah uh and um can you please uh say in your native language Welcome to the Global Week. Enjoy your time. Of course. Bine ați venit la săptămâna globală și un timp minunat să aveți. It's so beautiful. It's like song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, do you think so? It's like a song? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> It's really nice how you, how you said it. And... It feels quite difficult language, I would say. Oh, uh, yes, it is. Um, speaking Romanian, it's a difficult language because um, we uh, have more words sometimes in a sentence than English. We have different pronouns. We say things different. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, wow. <laughs> Probably English should be easier for you. Oh, yes. It's, I would say English, it's not necessarily a, a easy language. Um, but it's definitely easier than learning Romanian. Probably if you learn, if you know Italian, it will be more uh, helpful. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, it's quite hard. 
a bit <laughs> a bit yeah well i hope that uh we uh motivated uh other students our audience to visit uh, Romania and definitely after all this beauty which you described to us people will want to learn Romanian language and I think it would be a nice motivation for them oh yes of course you can come of course people will definitely teach you a lot of stuff oh. <laughs> you will get a lot of things um yeah it's not hard it's just a little bit of uh, motivation and definitely you can do it for sure. And of course, yeah, please come visit. It's, as I said, it's beautiful and it's worth every penny visiting Romania. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's, um, it was a pleasure to have this uh, conversation. I learned a lot. Now I definitely know some locations what uh, I can visit. I know a bit more interesting facts about your country and i feel that i really want to visit romania one day so who knows maybe yeah. we will organize a um, group after this beautiful video and we will go together oh definitely yeah thank you so much for having me as well this was a, such a good conversation and yeah definitely we should do a big group and all go to romania and visit during summer. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a summer girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. And um, enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye.